Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. It looks like the launcher has an update. So we'll just click uh, update the launcher there. Not a big deal. Apparently there is now a version one and version two pass point F now. Uh, it should be okay. <laughs> Think it's fine. So yeah, those updates probably were out sooner. Like if you just went to like the website for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, you probably could have downloaded it separately and got access to these a little quicker. Of course, these will. We're going to have to update our game. I automatically put it on the newest version, which is Frank 2. Update game. This can and often does cause more of those red pop-ups when we load the game. We'll see. We already have some. I think it's because of the no freeze mod. Let's see. I have to reinstall the sound packs and stuff. The sound pack is always a pretty big download for any game, really. All right. Let's see. What kind of problems do we got? This is the no freeze one that was already here. I press I, but it doesn't ignore it, even though it says it'll ignore it in the future. There we go. That one's probably new. Composite bow cannot fit into the cockpit. It, it fixed the mod we did. That's what happened there. I don't know what that's going to make it do. We might lose the item. Makeshift rope. They took it away, I suppose, is what happened to that. So yeah, we probably lost the bow. Let's see what we got went on the ground. Uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. First of all, let's get our main music going. However, it does indeed sound as if why is it so staticky sounding? Do you guys hear that static? That's not the music, that's the game. Well, we're gonna switch to game capture and that shouldn't change it though, because that's just visual. It's just a static. Well, I guess this gives us a reason to build the new bow. <laughs> I bet the fire axe doesn't fit in this thing either now. 30, 35 inches. That does, it's just the bow was exceptionally long. All right, well. You win some, you lose some. Let us. I also have to fix the webcam, all sorts of things. Gotta figure out what's going on with this audio, though. It's weird. A little strange. It's weird. What the frick? I have to get a different sound pack. Oh, what the heck is this? What in tarnation? Ambient sound. Who the frick said anything about ambient sound? It's fine on that screen. I hope it's not just that's in that ambient sound effect now. That'd be kind of stinky. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's this. I guess it could be my headset. You guys will have to tell me if you guys hear the static and stuff. That's uh, definitely my headset. Because it's all of these, and that's not part of the game. Okay. My opinion is you guys probably don't hear that. Well, that really hurt. Powering on. So my god. was. The uh, onboard wheel on my headset got cranked up to like 10,000%. So when I turned my headset off to reset it, it uh, screeched into my ears at the volume of a thousand suns. That's why it was, that's why I heard static. 
It was just, uh, I could hear way too much. <laughs> okay, I think I've normalized my, my headset volume to a proper level. However, also looks like you guys can't hear the music. It's probably cranked down because, yeah, I had a zero because my ears were getting blown out. Uh, okay. That was a lot. Everything is okay. The only thing we've lost is our bow. Oh, there it is. But we can't carry it anymore. Which is a problem. So we're going to have to get back in the files and fix that or just make the new bow and then also fix the golf bag, blah, 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 or just wear it like this. But I don't need it, but that's a lot of extra encumbrance. So I'm going to go fix the golf bag as well. All right. I believe I've made the bag bigger again. So let's go take a look at it real quick. Do, 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 do. Max item length is going to be eight inches now should be able to put the composite bow into it now there we go not a problem that's all we needed all right so it's been quite some time since i played last i don't recall what i was gonna do next <laughs> let's see we killed the the big chungus right we checked out the railroad station there was nothing there Oh, we could go to like these farmhouses. I don't think we're really gonna find anything we're looking for out there. I think we're just ready to leave this town. We need to find a laboratory key card somewhere. So otherwise we probably won't be able to get in there. This is up here. Swamp Shack. Is there a random a, a base? Oh, Migos. We don't want to mess with Migos, man. If you ever see anything that says Migo, you run. You run as far away as you can. That is my Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead tip of the day. We could go try to clear FEMA camps. We could try to do it. It would give us a lot of ammo. We are pretty well armored. I wonder what the Luna Park is. Might not be anything. Okay, well, let's head up to the, towards the Luna Park, see what it is. If it stinks, we'll go try to wipe out one of these female camps. Okay, get it, got it, good. Am I forgetting something here? Uh, looks like I was repairing stuff with my repair kit. I don't need to anymore, though, based on what I think I know. Got the fire axe, got the golf bag, but we're out of arrows. I have five, but the maiden batches of ten. Uh, ammo. Arrows. Hey, we have broad bodkin arrows and broadhead arrows now. Do you, oh, hey, they color-coded this now. That's kind of nice. Although good and decent are the same colors, so I'm not sure. It's like a super helpful thing. Hell arrow. Oh, hey, actually, this menu is sorted differently. I wonder if we got these because of an update. No archery guy level 4, I guess, is what happened. Decent chance. Metal arrow. Somewhat low chance they actually changed it because I used to be it was better than these, but now these are pretty good. Question is, do we want Bodkin or Broadhead? Bodkin for armor piercing, of course. That's one damage. Pierce armor of three. Broadhead. The dispersion is higher, and I think that's bad. Our pierce of one. What did the metal arrow have, just so I know? One. One, one, one hundred, ten crit modifier. That's crazy, by the way. Point five, one, one ten. Hmm. 
It's hard to say. I'm going to make broad hits. Because I feel like it. Uh, duct tape, plank, or steel. Sinew. Yes, let's use the first one. Scrap metal. Feathers? No, we'll use uh, plastic bags. They're not really used for anything. The electric forge. There we go. Those will be gnarly. So we are vaguely hungry. Mayo will make us very angry. And pineapple will go ahead. Then I don't remember if I've taken a multivitamin yet today in game. Let's go ahead and pop one of them. All right, let's turn this baby around. I'll try to stay on this tile set just because it's annoying to switch back and forth. But as we've talked about ad nauseum, it's actually easier to drive with ASCII on just because the map is not as complicated to look at. Probably floor it here. And yes, flooring it is 45 miles an hour in this game. <laughs> Be curious to see, like... I wonder how fast you have to go to move, like, one tile on the mini-map at a time. You'd have to be able to move 20 tiles on the main map in one tick. I mean, you can see where it feels like we're absolutely flying here. We might want to kill these zombies. This could be like a zombie scientist drop. It's not. Ooh, slow down. Things. One thing stops on a dime, man. You really think about it. No. Uh, wield. Suppose. Yes, ignore further distractions, please. 32 damage. It should be real high. Should be really high on these unarmored zombies. Just to be real with you. Got him. Almost got close enough to make Martin move. Dang zombies. Oh, look at that damage, man. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> All the crit damage, too. Jeez, Rick. All right, the crit damage is already... Well, I guess it would it'd multiply on top of the, the base damage multiplier. Okay, skeletal zombie, though, is different. If I can of worms. Inventory. Drop inventory. Alright. Skeleton zombie. You've probably got pretty good armor and... I think they're just hard to hit because they are not full, you know? Oh, you're just a shady zombie in the nighttime. Or daytime. I don't even know if you guys are scary at night anymore. They used to be scary at night, but... We have not had any issues with them, so I have not tutorialized that issue. You know what? This was just a regular zombie spawn, and they just revived, so all their stuff is underground. This wasn't like a uh, an event, I don't think. Maybe it was. Okay, yeah, it was. It was college kids. Still, they got back up. All right, we're my golf bag. Zoom out to like a normal zoom level here so I can see their stuff. Survival kit box. They will take it. I'm sure it doesn't have anything I actually need. Tint is interesting. Not really what we need though. 
best kit, I'm pretty sure we have one. It does have a medium battery, and medium batteries aren't too bad. I'm gonna steal its battery, if you don't mind. Copper lockets would be fun if we were still making a loot pile. Long rope might actually go a long way. Should smash that body. I thought I saw that plant up in the top right here move, but this is my imagination. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Managed to pause the video though. I take knife. I think that's what we've got right now, right? It was the one that was shockingly good at butchery. I guess we should at least take a look at this laboratory so you guys can get an idea of what they look like. They can be different though. They're not like all the same. They used to all be the same, but some of them are like external now where they're like really big external buildings. But we're gonna wanna be very careful because it could have like turrets. It's usually the military bases that have turrets, not the laboratories, but I think I've seen labs have uh, guns too, so. I wonder if the uh, science of zombies can spawn outside the lab now. Because that would uh, give us an opportunity to maybe. An ashen brawler fall climbs to its feet. Jesse, what the heck are you talking about? So this is different. This is a brick wall is unusual. Oh, it's like a... It's like a smoker zombie on steroids? I'm guessing it's like a zombie brute that's a smoker zombie. Interesting. But yeah, just keep your distance from like military buildings and laboratories. Usually the labs are metal, that's why I'm kind of surprised to see the... Concrete, the skitterbot. They're not so dangerous. They're mostly just uh, annoying because they're kind of hard to hit. But it comes to us. I mean, I hope it's. I hope I haven't buffed it. <laughs> Insectoid robot, the size of a small dog, designed for home security. Arm of two close range tasers that can skate across the ground with great speed. <laughs> Ouch. Actually, it's zapping me pretty good here. This is symbol number five, one robot kill. Actually got me pretty good. It's probably because we can like take this, this simply takes one hour. Might reeled, solder, AI core, spidery legs. That kind of sounds cool. Oh, it's heavy as heck, huh? Oh, I have a no backpack. Still, it's probably still heavy even with the backpack. It fits, it's just very heavy. That's fine. You don't want to carry stuff that's heavy for too long. You can hear your characters like running out of stamina. That's your that's the price to pay for that. Okay, survival kit box. I'd like to read the survival guide and drop it off. I was gonna put the kit box there. Or you know what? The battery doesn't go here. It's been so long that I kind of forgot where things go. Neither did that or this. I guess the long rope could sort of go here. So that goes up there. I think I even put the robot in here. It's not where it's supposed to go. Not sure where I put the robot exactly. <laughs> I want to put that in the disassembly trunk. It might not fit in the disassembly trunk. Oh, but I didn't actually grab it, huh? If it. 
don't know what we can do with the skitter bot, but uh, I figure it might be fun to disassemble it. I've never tried before, and it says it can have like an AI core and stuff in it, which might be neat. Let's see, there's what the heck? Oh, well, there's portals in this building. This might be like a this might be an external lab, not the underground lab. It's different than the external lab I've seen last. What is going on here? Like if there's a zombie there, I feel like it should be chasing me at this point, right? It normally would be. Soldier. I have a military card, but... Hey, zombie scientists, okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna come back. <laughs> We're gonna come back. I know you're like, I wanna see the laboratory. It's gonna be awesome, bro. There's actually, like, new zombies and stuff. It's really cool. I guess. Yes, it is. The problem is our character is in moderate exhaustion, which is like a... It's like a 50%... I don't know what's up with this brawler. I'm not sure I'm gonna kill it either. I don't wanna die of smoke inhalation. I guess turn on a gas mask. Forehead. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll park by this pond. Why not? That seems neat. Just kinda wanna get my distance away from uh, that laboratory, cause it's a little bit scary. There's something advanced zombies there. Oh, I left my door open. <laughs> yeah, our, our character's just a little exhausted right now, so. Let's actually check. We can take a look. Not really weary. Move penalty. So, yeah, it's 67% uh, slower to attack things because extreme activity is fighting things. So, yeah, we wouldn't have wanted to start engaging in that. That would have been bad. In our current condition. For now, we will read. We will read. Some of these books are not fun, but we might want to read them anyway. We do have the MP3 player. I recommend if you're reading a not fun book to turn your MP3 player on just to keep your guy from uh, having a terrible mood. Applied science. Social isn't really going to do much for us, even though it's the fastest one to read. Mechanical mastery would be pretty good. A second applied science. So, oh yeah. 69 recipes, but biodiesel is more fun. So I think that's what we're going to read next for now. It's friggin' raining. What the heck? What in tarnation? It's raining? Okay. Can me? It's raining? What? So, for those who are new to Cataclysm, <laughs> it used to rain all the time, like absolutely constantly, and probably rained too much, to be honest. But as you've seen, we are at episode, I think this is episode 70 at this point. And we haven't seen rain the entire game during springtime. People are, I've seen the argument online. They're like, it takes place in the Northeast. It doesn't rain in the springtime in the Northeast. I don't think so. It rains here in the Midwest and that's, uh, it's all temperate climate, you know? So, um, but hey, it's, it's raining. That's cool. Don't know how long it'll last. Be nice if Acid Rune was back in the game too, just because it's kind of exciting. I know it's, I know there's probably practical reasons of why it's not in the game anymore, but it'd be kind of fun if it was still in the game. But we're all out of time. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.